going on everyone thank you so very much for checking in here on this monday june 12 2023 i got a little bit of some extra for you when it comes to professional wrestling talk here on youtube.com and of course you know who i am it is the yankee mad dog messiah here with you your personification of greatness when it comes to wrestling talk here on youtube.com so anyways we are going to be talking about the women's Tag Team Division and some news that WWE is going back to the original plans that they had for the Women's Division. And we know that the Women's Tag Team Division was introduced in 2019. Uh, the idea was for the champions to be traveling all over the brand. So we're talking about Raw. We're talking about SmackDown, and we're talking about NXT, and we all know that each brand, the main roster and NXT, had their own set of women's titles. Well, according to a report from Fightful Select, the upcoming unification match between the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler... Going up against the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Albert Frey and Isla Dawn, may be a means to go back to square one with the Women's Tag Team Division and the plans for it. As they were saying, the Women's Tag Team titles are being combined and there were several in NXT at the time of the formation of the NXT tag team titles that were confused why they were being created in the first place. However, Fightful was told that there were plans in order to combine the NXT and WWE women's tag team titles going back to April when the WWE draft occurred. They were told that the WWE women's tag team titles will appear on NXT programming when needed, as was the original plan for the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles. WWE sources indicated to us that this unification would have moved forward quicker, if not for the fortunate, unfortunate injuries winning the division. The only three times in which WWE actually utilized the traveling champions rule with NXT was when the Kabaki Warriors defended their belts in 2019 against the Kota Kai and Tegan Knox, when uh, Sasha Banks and Bayley fought Shotzi and Tegan Knox in 2020, and then in 2021 when Nia, ja Nia Jax and uh, Shayna Baszler took on the Kota Kai and Rafael Gonzalez, I'm Raquel Gonzalez. Um, I know I'm a little bit uh, reading this article fast. Though the final of those three was used as an angle to introduce NXT's own belts. I said this. The day that the NXT women's tag titles were first showcased on TV. Triple H was running NXT at the time. And Vince McMahon didn't want his main roster stars on NXT to defend the titles. Which was the most logical move. Now shifting gears to 2023. The division and its titles are at the lowest point in their history. And the original idea of the main roster titles being defended everywhere, that's now the plan. But my question is, why didn't WWE do this four years ago? Hmm? How didn't they realize that this was the right decision four years ago? I'm telling you, and 
I know Briley was saying this the other night when I did the Yankees uh, fight night. That I should be running WWE. Of course. Of course I would. Because I can run this shit with my eyes closed. I can make this fucking um, company better than what it is right now with Vince McMahon, Bruce Prichard, and uh, all the fucking geeks that are out there in WWE land trying to fucking book this shit poorly. Oh yeah, I can run this better than Nick Khan. Without a doubt. But man. We waited four years. For this. And you didn't do this. Four years ago. But now you have to do it. Yeah. This kind of makes sense with the fact that. Nick Khan. What. He said this past week. Where oh yeah. We want to bring the main roster talent to NXT as well. And you obviously know why they're doing this. So NXT could get a contract with you with the USA Network. Knowing that their contract runs out this year with the USA Network. That's why they're putting in the main roster stars on NXT. So yeah, if Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler win this match... You know that they'll be going to NXT. And defend their gold. So, um... That's pretty much what I gotta say about this. Um... Your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm out. See you guys later. Fuck the haters. Fuck the trolls. Fuck Vince McMahon. And fuck Joey Janela too. Oh yeah. Dig it. Be a be a... Yankee Mad Dog Messiah, signing off.